back to 5-Minute Quirky Characters. Today's character is called Let's Face It. And the reason why I named this collage sheet Let's Face It is for two reasons. This is the collage sheet um, that I'm going to be linking in the description box below. It's a free collage sheet. And I've done two versions. It's all about the faces this week. So there's a large and a small, and a large and a small of two faces. Now this week, we're going to concentrate on this. And that's what you see here. And just a reminder, when you go to download your collage sheet, there's an A4 size, a letter size, and a PDF. Now I'm told that the PDF will allow you, if you use an iPad, you can download the PDF to the iPad and print from there. So hopefully that'll help some of you that have iPads. And remember to download this before you print it. Don't print it from Google Drive because you'll get a half sheet. So just wanted to remind you of that. So now let's get started. So to create this character, you're going to need a couple of things. Just like before, you're going to need a large pair of scissors, a small pair of scissors for the detail work, a glue stick, a bone folder so that you can pull this around your pieces so they'll curl and then it'll ensure that they lie flat on whatever you're going to put this on. And then of course you'll need the collage sheet. This one. So we're going to concentrate on the larger one right here and I want to show you what I've done. Now the idea of this was really to be able to mix and match the different pieces you have already. Many of you participated in the Cheater Collage, and in Class 1 and 2 of Cheater Collage, we used a kit called Woot from Crow About Studio, and it looks like this. So we had clothes that you could use, heads, and it was all about mixing and matching those. And so this time I decided we'd go back to this kit, because this is one of my favorite kits. It's got words, it's got, um, I'll call them washi strips, You border strips, you can use a lot of things for them. And also it has fantastic papers. And these are just some of the papers that are in the back that you could use for your background or bits and pieces. Um, and that's why I really like this kit because you can use some of the borders, some of the circles if you wanted to. Um, you'll see that this right here is right up on this piece. And these, of course, are not all of the papers that came in the kit. I'm just showing you a few of them. So I'm going to leave a link uh, to Crowbout Studios. If you haven't had an opportunity to go check out their website, oh, definitely go do it. There are so many kits out there that you can play with. But again, this is the Woot kit. And right here is the dress that I used. And I just basically cut it out, and then I put it down on some paper. And in the kit, it also has some of these, um, oh, little medallions, I guess, that have some words. And so I took that and put that on that page as well. And I'm going to show you right here. Let's see. So this, this is the one that I used for this character. And I just cut it out, and because this was so tall, I didn't use the legs. So this is one way you can do it. This is in my hinged notebook, so I put that in there. Here's another idea of how you can use this. So this is the bookmark. So I've, you can see I've, I've been using it. And I used a lot of those papers. As I mentioned, the borders, you can just put them along here on your tag. And then I used another littler body from the kit and put that on there. And then I ended up cutting off the, if you, let me show you here. Um, the best way to show you is I cut off right here and then moved the neck up. You could cut it right here as well. Just depends if you want the heart on there. 
um, just to shorten that neck a little bit so I could make this fit. So that's another way that you can play with it. And right here on this circle, I used one of the faces from the kit. Let's just, I don't remember if it was this one or what, but I turned it sideways. And so you can't really see that it's a face. It just looks like a colorful piece of paper. So I used that for this tag. And then the other thing I made, just to show you how another way you can use it, is this envelope. This was wrapping paper that I had, and I just slid it right out there on the cup and tucked the neck in. And this is an A7 size envelope, and um, just glued them down. I think, you know, it makes a really nice little piece for someone to get this in the mail. And again, I used the small head on this. And then I just took a flower and glued that on the back. And once I get something in here, then I'll just uh, glue that down. So the other thing that you can do, if we, if we take this character, so I cut out the large one here, and even if we take some of our pieces from the previous collage sheets that I provided you, you can see how you can play with them. And you can use the large one or the small one, it's up to you. So there's one. Here's another one. If you want to have that heart in there, you can do it like that. Or if you want to make it shorter, like that. And if you want to use the glasses, you can do that. One of the glasses. So I've really been trying to keep them all so that you can mix and match these and have some fun with them. Now, next week, um, I'll come back and I will show you the how, to, how I'm using the second head right here and right here and so you'll be able to see that and I'm sorry I had to turn them all crazy I was trying to fit them on one sheet and uh, I did get it to fit so anyway I hope you enjoy this character it was super fun to make this was all washi tape that I put on those horns and uh, I really liked the way that turned out so that's it for now and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.